Oh, this little fella down here, his name's Billy. He's one of the fellas that hangs around here now and then. Come on, Billy, come and do some work, mate. Hey, Billy, come on, hop on to it. Well, what we're making is the battery straps here. On these battery straps, we're using this 50 millimeter by three millimeter galvanized up so that it doesn't rust and all that sort of gear. Uh, what we've done is my mate Norm here, He's giving me a hand because it takes a couple of big blokes to bend this sort of gear, you know. And we've cut out the, the metal a bit of a, uh, you know, a 45 and bench together like that. Here you go. Like that. And now we're just going to bend it around, keeping it all nice and straight so it doesn't go all off and wacky. Tighten up the corners with a hammer. And that's the end result. Looks all fantastic. See, a couple of those bolted onto the chassis and the battery just sits in there and it's all good. That's <laughs> There's nothing to say. Keep looking at me, don't look at the well. Right. Look at me, don't look at the well. Don't look at the well. Don't look at the well. <laughs> oh. Is that on? Yeah. Did I swear? You can edit it out. I think I just... Um, well, the uh... Not the clamp on. Clamp to... Oh, let me look at what you're doing. Let's just keep going. Go on. <laughs> Talk about bushwhackers. No, I'm not talking now, I'm working. It's a time to work and a time to play. No wonder I don't get much done. Because you're always playing. Play it up. Playing. Play it up. Leave your phone numbers at the end of the show. Play up time. Hockey one, hockey two, hockey three, she's out. <laughs>
and I haven't got a clue, so I think we better get Norm over and tell us all about the ladder because I haven't got the foggiest what I'm talking about. Norm, these are stainless steel, you need stainless steel screws and things like that on everything I know and an aircraft sort of gear and you seem to get a bit fancy. Yeah, they're, they're stainless steel to stop the rust. And how do you bend it? Uh, in a bender. Is your bender? Yeah, which is um, uh, about an 18 year old gum tree. And you just give it a bit of a press down on you the sides. You give it a press down to follow the shape of the van. You get the missus on one end and you on the other end. Yep. And what's the point of having a ladder on the roof? I mean, what do you want to get up there for anyway? Well, the main thing is to wash the roof, to check everything out, um, check the solar panels, make sure it's good. You don't need to do any of that. You're just, you don't have you're just to. You're just a pervert, really. Well, I'd get back to the best thing at the beach to get up above the cars. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, the ladder allows you to get up onto the roof. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> because on a real sunny day at Bondi Beach, you get the best view up there with your binoculars. <laughs> then you can climb up. You can climb up the ladder, Nev. You go up the ladder. You serious? Serious? Yeah. Go up. We can turn the camera off first if you like. Well, I'm going up on the top of the roof here, and I've got a reversing camera up here. He's got air conditioning, he's got some hatches, he's got the wing guard, wine guard antenna solar panels and he's also made the aluminium aluminos frame up the top here as well and he's made that there's a bit of protection around the gear so if you know he goes and hits a big gum tree it doesn't knock off his air conditioner hits this first and knocks that off then it knocks off the air conditioner looks good Norm Now with our bench kitchen covered, we're going to mount to the wall of the bus. Now what we do with those is we rivet down onto the side of the bus with engineering rivets and sit the bed on top. 